I have to say, though, I do like the uh, the belt feed system now. That does make this process uh, a little bit smoother, for sure. Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Britted OG, and in this episode, we are going to uh, get started by getting the obstacle clearing milestone. Uh, so we have the screws we need for that. We already had the cable and concrete loaded. And this gets us the chainsaw and solid biofuel. Milestone reached. Solid biofuel created from any biomass ensures maximum efficiency of biomass burners. To aid in biofuel production, the chainsaw allows for the removal of tougher wood and coral foliage. Additionally, your pocket dimension has been inflated to increase inventory size. Inspirational nice. note, will you be the Fix-It Employee of the Month? I'm sure you trying. Be if you construct, automate, explore and exploit by eliminating all obstacles <laughs> to efficiency. This isn't just fun, it's contractually mandated, fun, fun, fun. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, so now we can do solid biofuel and we can make ourselves a chainsaw. Uh, let's get the chainsaw going first. So we need five reinforced plates and more screws. Do I have any reinforced plates in here? I sh certainly do. And we should have some screws going on over here. Grab that stack there. Let's make ourselves a chainsaw. All right. And then, um, let's see, before we go cut some trees down, um, I want to, I want to add another, uh, constructor here because, um, this takes in 45 per minute, but we're sending 60 per minute. So we're going to add another constructor and underclock it so we can increase our, uh, concrete production, make it a little more efficient. So let's just put you right there. Actually, I need to move you back a bit. I may end up needing to move this over a little bit too, but that's fine. Okay, let's put splitter there, bring you over here. So we need to underclock you so that you're doing uh, 15 limestone per minute. Uh, so it looks like five per minute is what we want to set that to. Good. Okay. And that may, means we're utilizing all of the concrete coming in. Okay. Let's take you and move you over a bit. what we'll do is we'll line you up with that one and then we'll take and put a merger here all right that takes care of that uh we're not 100 percent efficient over here i again i'm not super worried about that to be honest but um, what I would like to actually do is we've got 60 coming out of there. Uh, no, sorry. We have 30 coming out of here, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, 30 ingots. I have those split into 15 here and 15 here. Uh, but then this guy's not doing anything. So what I want to do with this one is as soon as we learn it, I want this one to start making copper sheeting for us because we're going to need copper sheeting for a few things as well particularly if we can you know find the copper sheeting rotor recipe uh, that's a really good rotor recipe all right now um let's go over here and we need to we need a constructor so it looks like we already have everything we need for that and we're gonna set up a little 
a solid biofuel production chain here. Uh, so I just need to figure out how I want to do that. Um, why don't we go ahead and add another biofuel generator too, uh, to the mix here because uh, we're going to need it very soon. Put this right about here. Add that to the grid. Okay, so I need a constructor. And we're going to put this constructor facing this direction. Let's pull that back a little bit. Okay, let's run this line into here, and then let's put a splitter here. Okay, we don't have enough room to do that. So we're going to bring this constructor back a little bit more. Let's try that. That should work. No, you know what? That's too close. I think what we need to actually do is move this pole over a, bit, a little bit. Let's try this again. I want this to be lined up right on you. But bring you back to, I don't know, about here. Now let's put a splitter here. Uh, I'm going to actually move the splitter down a little bit. Okay, um, let's, for, for now, let's just run that into there. But, you know, before we get to coal power, we're probably going to have to set up a couple more of these before it's all said and done. All right, now you're going to be making solid biofuel. And we're going to need to grab another container. And let's flip it around this way. And you into there. Okay, that should work. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to make uh, a little bit of solid biofuel by hand. Uh, actually, no. Well, yeah, we are. But here, let's grab all of this. And then we're going to put it all into here, but I want, I want to make a little bit by hand so we have it for the chainsaw. That should kick in here. There it goes. Okay. Um, all right. So probably... That's probably going to be blocked until this gets rid of the normal biomass. Yeah. Okay, so let's do this. Let's grab you out of here. There we go. Okay, same thing here. Perfect. Okay.
Okay, I'm going to make, um, I don't know, about 10, 15, 20 or so of these by hand. Just like we make four at a time. So let's make around 20-ish or so. So that way we can take our chainsaw out and then go get a bunch of material. Okay, we'll put that in there. Let's take and put our chainsaw in our second hand slot. Haha, <laughs> nice. Okay. Now, for what uh, what we're going to do for, for cutting trees down, um, I mentioned in the first episode that when you cut a tree down, it's gone permanently. It does not respawn like the, un, you know, the underbrush does. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back here because there's like a corridor uh, that leads to the waterfall area where we are going to build our first factory. And I'm going to build a conveyor road along here. And so I'm going to cut all the trees down along through here uh, because of the fact that, you know, it's kind of out of sight, out of mind. So, you know, we're not going to see those trees and we won't miss them in terms of the view. Now, we can press R and do area mode or single mode, which is an amazing change. However, in this particular case, I still want area mode because I want to gather as much material as possible. But I'm so glad... That, um, oh my god, that's loud. <laughs> that fix it. Oh, look. Lizard doggo. Okay, let's tame this guy. Um, because he'll bring resources to us. Come on, buddy. Oh. Um, maybe we were too close. Okay, let's try it again. I, th I think we were too close to him. Okay, let's back up a little more. All right, he's our friend. Nice. All right, we're going to call you Doug the Doggo. Doug the doggo. Okay, so he's our buddy. And um, I want him to stay fairly close to our base of operations. If we um, if we get too far away from him, then he'll... Oh, what the hell is he doing? Come over here, man. Then he'll kind of stay in... He, he doesn't seem to be able to bail the path through that way. Can he come through here? Okay, that's weird. It's like he's stuck there. All right, let's see if we can lead him around this way. Actually, you know what? Let's just have him hang out with us while we uh, do some lumberjacking here. Good golly, Miss Molly, that's loud. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to go all through this corridor, all the way uh, down through way over there, and just harvest all the trees and underbrush. And then uh, me and Doug the Doggo will meet you guys back over by the hub here in a little while. From a certain perspective, your brain looks like it is processing language, but there is no auditory data. If you are hearing voices that are not mine, this is no cause for concern. It is a common side effect of extreme pressure and stress. <laughs> right.
All right, guys, me and Doug are back at the base. Doug doesn't have anything for us right now, but that's okay. So he'll uh, he'll just hang out around here and go find stuff for us. Uh, what we're going to uh, do is I'm just going to make the biomass by hand because it doesn't take that long. And if we were going to do a, a more long-term biomass power solution, uh, then I would also set up constructors to make the biomass directly. But because that is not really my plan, um, I'm not really too worried about it at this point. We're just going to make it by hand and then stick the biomass in the container over there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with doing all of this. So we basically have 2,560 biomass points worth of wood and 2,315 for leaves. Let's do it. All right, guys, um, I basically ran out of room in my in inventory uh, before I had a chance to make all of the biomass, but <laughs> we've got a whole bunch right there. And then I have still have 17 more pieces of wood uh, to make even more of that. I have to say, though, I do like the uh, the belt feed system. Now, that does make this process uh, a little bit smoother for sure. Okay, so we just got a few more here to make. And we'll put that in there. And um, let's grab those so we have something to heal with if we need them. And we'll put... Can, will that all fit in there? Nope, it doesn't quite all fit in there. Okay, that's fine. We'll get, get it in all later. Okay, so let's take a look at our power. We got lots of power at the moment. These still have to be fed manually, though. So, uh, and you're still using normal biomass. You know, you want I might just stop using these, so that way I don't have to feed them manually. Both of these together produce 40 megawatts. Um, one biomass burner. Those guys produce 30. So if we set up, say, two more of these. Um, get that more or less lined up with that one. All right, and then what we'll do here is we'll grab a splitter uh, with the input on that side. Also gonna need to put one there. Let's see. No, we want the input on that side. It's a little bit weird because it's Yeah, it doesn't quite know what to line up on. Okay, let's move it over to there. That should be okay. Uh, belt is too steep. Really? Uh, if we undo straight? Yeah, okay. Yeah, you have to watch that straight because you don't want to use it if you have some kind of weird angles like we do here. Alright, I'm going to put another pole right in between you two. And then once these guys run out, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna replenish them. I'm just gonna let them run out, and that's that. And then we don't have to, you know, manually keep filling them. Uh, but you know, adding those, we're basically added 60, and we're losing 40. So we'll, we'll have an, a net increase of 20 when these guys run out. Okay. 
And we'll put the rest of that in there. And this should last us. This could potentially last us for the whole rest of the time until we get to coal power. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. If it doesn't, you know, then I'll just gather even more biomass. But uh, I think that'll, you know, that'll probably do us okay. All right, we got the biomass situation under control for the moment. It's time to, to do some more tiers now. So let's see. We got resource sink, jump pads, part assembly. I think we're going to do part assembly next. Yeah, let's do this next so we can get copper sheets in particular going. We're going to need all of this stuff going, but that would copper sheets would be the next uh, most logical thing for us to do. Let's give you screws, plates, and cables, and then we need a few more rods, a little bit more cable, and some more plates. All right, so let's grab those. Uh, we need rods and screws. No, we got screws, but let's grab another stack of screws just so we have them. Um, and maybe we'll grab that many rods and we'll grab that many plates. That should be enough to finish up here. Milestone reached. The assembler can produce more complex parts, including the first project part, smart plating, which is crucial for initiating project assembly. Project parts must be delivered to the space elevator. By completing your contracted duties as part of project assembly, you will definitely be helping achieve fix-it company goals without any other ulterior motive. Note, humans cannot craft project parts. Do not worry about your inadequate crafting skill when compared to an assembler. Fix-It cherishes your innate human abilities, such as walking, striking objects, and commodifying natural resources. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Okay, we're going to move this over. Commodifying natural resources. I love it. All right, set you to copper ingots. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get some copper sheet production going because we're going to need that for piping and some other things later on. Set that to copper sheet. This takes 20 copper ingot per minute. You're producing 30 per minute. Um, I guess for for power efficiency, let's set this to 20 per minute as well. And then it'll use less power. And then that way it'll be even with what this requires. Let's see, let's, yeah, let's connect you into there. And then we need a storage bin. All right, we got copper sheeting going. It's a beautiful thing. All of our copper production is going well. Hey, look at that. He gave us six super so, uh, whoop, try that again. Six solid biofuel. Good going, Doug. What a good boy you are. Fan frickin' tastic. Okay. Let's put that extra ore in there, and then the rest of it I'm just gonna get rid of because don't really need it, you know? Uh, do we have room to put these ingots in here? That many, and then the rest of them we'll get rid of. Don't tell fix it, because they don't like the waste, but... Uh, Sometimes you just got to get rid of shit. You know what I mean? All right. Cool. Uh, let's take a look. Let's see. We've got uh, three, a little over three minutes until our uh, guy comes back. I think what we want to do is resource sync next. But here's the thing. Before we do this, we're going to get started with some Caterium. Because what we're going to do with that Caterium is, A, research it to get smart splitters, but we're also going to use it to make quick wire to feed into the sink. Because we won't really need quick wire for a while, but we can produce it and sink it to make coupons for ourselves. So that is the plan, Stan. 
All right, so what we're going to do, how much concrete do I have? I got a decent amount of concrete, a uh, decent amount of plates, probably enough to do what we need to do. So we're going to go here and grab ramps. And we're going to... Uh, yeah, we're going to set the ramps. We're going to basically point up there because at the top of this cliff here, uh, there is a uh, pure Caterium node. All right, so let's start. What the hell is that noise? All right, that's new. <laughs> going, what in the world? Oh, wow, cool. They changed the sound effect for that. I like it. There's another Mercer. Uh, if we go back down one. Yeah, let's go up one more and then we will go regular foundations. Yeah, that's good. All right, we should have two bad bads up here. We got this plasma dude. And we should also have a fuzzy tail hog. And this is now a pure node. This used to be a normal node. And now it's a pure node, so that's a beautiful thing. Uh, and what I should have done, actually, is brought up enough stuff to put a miner down. And I didn't do that, so I'm a noob. Okay, so what we will do, though, is we'll at least uh, get power set up. Right, okay, so let's, um, let's put a power line here. And we'll run the power back down. connect that into that pole there okay now let's go grab our extra or our dudes back nice uh, let's see we want to do resource sync next so we'll select that milestone but I'm not gonna put any resources into it quite yet uh, because I want to get this caterium going so we need this this guy here is that enough to do a minor Yes, it is. Uh, we could put the smelter up there, too. So, miner and smelter. We have all the materials. And we're going to need to run... Yeah. Uh, we're going to need to run some conveyor belts down. So, let's grab some of those. And we'll grab a few of those. How much concrete do I have? I got lots of concrete. Okay, let's do this. Put a smelter right here. Uh, set that to Caterium ingots. You are producing 120 per minute, but we don't have Mark II belts yet, so it'll be uh, less under a clock, it, so it's 60 per minute for, for now until we get Mark II belts, and then we can increase it. Well, we're not actually going to even use this wire for now. We'll use it later, but we're going to produce it so that we can sync it and get coupons. That's the deal here. All right. Uh, grab that. There we go. Okay. And we'll bring this belt back down. Alright, we're gonna put a uh nope, not that. A storage box here. And we'll accumulate oh I got cricket up here. 
Damn it, Jim. Okay. Now, I think we need 50 ingots uh, to do the wider research. But, yeah, I'm going to have to wait until 50 ingots are created unless... We could grab some of the ore and, and also create it ourselves. But yeah, okay. Oh shit, that's gonna hurt. Let's not do that. <laughs> I wish they would have done something to fix this little problem when you run a conveyor belt down a ramp, but they did not do that in 1 0, so that kind of sucks. All right. So let's go grab the other little bit of Caterium ore that we currently have. Which is right here. And we'll see how many ingots we can make. 11. That's not quite enough, but it's going to be close. That gets us to 45. Okay. Alright, let's stick the protein in here. So we just need five more to do our research. Um, this is back. Uh, no, wait. Yeah, we're that's waiting for stuff. So All right, let's just go grab five more ingots and then we can get that quick wire research going. And then we're actually going to change things up down here to make the quick wire. And then that's going to go into a sink. One, two, three, four, and five. That gives us 50, right? Yes, it does. Okay. Do I have reinforced plates? I do. All right, let's actually redo this. Grab a constructor. We can't actually configure it for wire yet, though, because uh, we need to research it first. Which we will do right now. Research completed. Quickwire recipe unlocked. New Caterium research available. All right, so now we want to make 100 wire to unlock this. If this hasn't changed, this will get us AI limiters and then this will get us smart splitters. I would like to have smart splitters available to us when we start building our factory. So we will be, you know, kind of fast tracking that. Which should not be a difficult thing to do when the time comes. Okay. Now, uh, do I have what I need to make a sink? Oh, no, we have to research it first. Okay, so we'll let that wire uh, build up. We need to set this to do Caterium wire, or quick wire, rather. You need 45 Caterium per minute. That's set to 60. All oh, right, and you only do 15 per minute. Uh, so what we could do, we could do two of these. What in the hell? That's not lined up right. Put a splitter here. So now we need to set this to do 90 per minute. And then both of them will output 30 ingots per minute. 
So let's get a merger. There we go. Man, I love that straight belt setting. That is just amazing. It's gonna save so much time when we start building factories and make everything look beautiful. There we go. Okay, so now we have 30 per minute um, coming out on the ingots. Oh, don't do that. It's a habit. <laughs> Now, what do you need for your in input? You need, oh shit, you're only taking 12 per minute. All right, if we want to maximize that, then we need another, we need another um, constructor. So let's do this. Uh, we're going to grab some foundations. Alright, and then we're going to grab two of these. Bring them out to here and there. Set you to quick wire and you to quick wire. We'll put a splitter here. That's fine. Okay, so let's see. We're sending 30. And you need 24. So we could either overclock these or uh, we could overclock one of them. Okay, let's put, uh, we got extra, yeah. Okay, let's bring this up to here. Do I have any power shards on me? I don't. Okay. Let's grab those power shards. Okay, so we have an extra, um, let's see, we're sending 30, we're only using 24. We have an extra six per minute. So let's put a shard here and bump this up till that's 18. So probably, what's 65? Oh, that's only 13. All right, let's try 80. Six, 16, right? Is that what we said? No, we said 18. 90 per minute. There we go. Because 12 and 18 is 30. There we go. Okay. Now, I'm going to grab a storage bin here. Let's get a merger. Didn't leave myself a whole lot of room there, did I? Is that lined up right? Okay, let's turn off straight mode. No, that is not lined up right. Okay. We're just too close. We need to get out a little bit, give ourselves a little more breathing space here. Uh, 
How about right there? That's better. Put a merger here. Turn this to straight mode. Oh, I love that. <laughs> okay, cool. So we'll start accumulating quick wire. And then once we get the awesome sync, we'll set a sync up and we'll just start syncing this wire. Cause like I said, I don't really need it for anything uh, at the moment, except for research, which we already have over a hundred. Everything looking good over here. Okay. Let's go to uh, Caterium and research quick wire. New Caterium research options available. Congratulations on finding this metal. Many Fixit initiatives will benefit from Caterium's applicability in advanced engineering. Also, it is probably not sentient and so unlikely to feel pain as we exploit it. <laughs> but even if it did, you guys would still do it anyway, right? Okay, anyway, uh, next up will be AI limiters. We're already making copper sheeting and we'll have more uh, Caterium wire, or sorry, quick wire ready to go. Uh, we'll do that. And then, um, oh, I think we can go right to smart splitters from there. I don't think we have to do this one first. Yeah, because it, it'll go here and then branch there. And we really want these smart splitters uh, for before we start building our factory. Perfect. Okay. We're making great progress, ladies and gentlemen. Great progress. Indeed we are. Okay, so uh, let's get stuff to get this next milestone going. So we'll grab some of that. Uh, we'll grab some of that. Some of this. And uh, some copper wire. Milestone reached. You have been given access to the anti-waste effort for stress testing of materials on Exoplanet's bonus program, also known as Awesome. Awesome. Your awesome input allows Fixit to comprehend our amazing universe more clearly. So you can In exploit it, right? Of this, we have <laughs> generously set up an internal, closed economy with exclusive rewards and currency. Directing parts of varying quantity and complexity into the awesome resource sink will grant Fixit coupons. These coupons can be redeemed in the awesome shop for highly desirable items such as new foundations, walls, factory attachments, cosmetics, parts, and more. Next time you have additional resources, just remember to go that extra kilometer. Go awesome. Nice. Okay. Cool. So um, that also unlocked um, the customizer for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into here. We're gonna load our dark blue preset. We're gonna set that to black and, oh, shiny. That's new, select that color. And uh, let's go to foundations. And I want foundations to be, uh, I just like black for foundations across the board. Uh, pipelines will change based upon what's in the pipe. And project assembly, apply to space elevator and project. Oh, that's new. Project assembly by default. Interesting. Warning this. Where's okay. Let's do, pro let's make project assembly red because why the fuck not, right? <laughs> well, uh, we'll do red and black for project assembly and we'll make it shiny. Nice. Okay. Now that changed all of our buildings to this dark you know kind of dark blue color that we're already using and that's going to be our our base color for this playthrough i used a kind of a lime green in my update 8 playthrough so for our 1.0 playthrough this will be our base color now that's not to say we won't change you know uh you know have other factories be different colors we will most likely but this will be kind of our base color i love it it's fan friggin tastic How much wire do we have already? 283. Look at that. It's amazing. Okay, so for the awesome sink, 
Uh, since we're primarily going to be sinking quick wire, I think we'll put the sink up here. Uh, what do we need for them to build that sucker? Uh, we got everything we need there. It was so nice that we found all those reinforced plates and rotors and stuff. Uh, just amazing. Okay, so let's bring this over here. And it says it's encroaching on another object. All right, you know what, what, what we might want to do is... Let's run some foundations out here. Okay, can we put the sink here? Yes, we can. Okay, beautiful. We're just going to line it up with that guy and set it in place. Uh, but I'm not going to power this up yet because I want to accumulate some of this wire for uh, the additional research. Let's go look and see again what we need for that. All right. Uh, wouldn't... Wouldn't mind getting the Mark II power poles either. So that means we're going to need 500 between that and the AI limiters. Right. So we need to accumulate 500 wire. And once we do that, then we'll turn the sink on and start uh, generating coupons. So we'll just let that build up. We'll bring our power pole over here. Where is the power connector? Over there? Okay. Just set that right there, and we'll wait to we'll wait to hook that up until we get 500 wire, which will not take long at all. Oh, wait a second, we have 55 there. Okay, yeah, so we have 464 so far. Okay, you have room for these. Let's put those in there. Our freighter's back. We are making progress. What's next? Uh, jump pads and logistics Mark II. Uh, let's do Mark II next. Doesn't matter. We got to do both of them regardless. Uh, so we got that. We got those. We got those. And we're going to need 50 reinforced plates. Okay. So those I'm going to make. Probably make those by hand. But we need to get started with assemblers here pretty quick. Uh, you know, for the, for the next stuff that we got to do. All right, so I'm going to need um, screws. And I'm going to need a bunch of plates. And we need to make 30 more reinforced plates. And like I said, we're going to, uh, in the next episode, we're going to start working on assembler automation which means reinforced plates and rotors in particular modular frames we don't need huge quantities of modular frames for now so i don't know that i'll set up an assembler for that but we are definitely going to need reinforced plates and we're definitely going to need rotors however we did find quite a few rotors you know from the wreck so that'll give us a little bit of a jump start but we're still going to need to make them so that's what we will focus on uh coming up here Okay, there's our 30 plates there. Milestone reached. Fix it would like to remind you of your contractual obligation towards efficiency. What are you talking about? I'm efficient. The use of belts and lifts does not count towards work hours and will put you on the what? list. Stay I'll put, efficient. Put you Don't on the list? Fix it. What the, what the hell? Where did that come from? Come on, Ada. All right. Anyway, never mind. Uh, so this will be our last milestone uh, to do. We've got the cable. We got easily have the plates. And we probably also have, yeah, we easily have the rotors too. 
And when that's done, you know, then we have to start, uh, we, we got to build the space elevator. I'm going to set the space elevator up just temporarily, just enough to get us into phases three and four. I'll take it back down and then we'll permanently put it up uh, at the top of our iron factory. That's my plan anyways. Uh, but yeah, I think we're going to wrap up this episode here, guys. So in the next episode, like I said, we'll get our assemblers set up. We'll get our space elevator built and we'll get uh, into phases three and four. And if everything goes well, we might even get started with our first little mini coal power plant. Once that's in place, we won't need any of this bio uh, stuff anymore. However, I have to say, this is pretty damn handy, you know, having this be able to just feed that in automatically. In fact, it's not pretty damn handy. It's really damn handy. It's very nice. Actually, quite nice indeed. But, you know, once we get coal power in place, then it's permanent. Um, and we don't, you know, we don't have to manually you know feed in biofuel and that sort of look at that dude nice thanks doug get an extra pet for that that's some useful shit all right guys thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video and we'll catch y'all in the next episode Bye bye